Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southern's cooking back at you today with another video. All right, y'all, we back, we back. All right, what we got going on here today, we're going to be stuffing us some uh, shells. We're going to be stuffing it with some chicken. We got some cut up chicken thighs here. We took off the bone, cut it up real good. We got some shredded cheddar cheese here. We got some Parmesan cheese. We got mozzarella cheese. We got lemon pepper, chicken bouillon. We got cottage cheese. We got one clove of garlic. We got one egg. We got one green onion. And we got our uh, Prairie sauce right here. And uh, we found, we, 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 we came up with, uh, well, we didn't come up with nothing. We found out a little thing about, it, about, it, about the onion. So we're going to see if this going to work today. We put an onion in, a, in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And I'm going to see if it's going to have me crying. So they they said don't supposed to do that. So we finna we finna try that out today. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. All right, we finna see this onion gonna make us cry now. We finna see that this ain't gonna work. I hope it works. So how's everybody doing today? Everybody doing okay? Good, good, good. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Lovely day here. So we finna try this out, y'all. Finna see do this work. Yep, we finna see do this real work. I'm only gonna... I got a little piece of an onion right here already in the, in the pot here. So far, so good, y'all. Let me chop on it a little bit and see what happens. Let me chop on it a little bit and let me see what happens. So far, so good, y'all. Yeah, I don't even smell it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we might have us a winner there, y'all. So this is what y'all do. Y'all want to cut up an onion? Put the onion in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And uh, I believe that, I, I say that's a winner. I say that's a winner. I can't even smell the onion, I, and I don't have no cold, so. Yeah, I think it worked. It works. I ain't, I ain't started tearing up yet. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut up our green onion as well. Well, then we're going to go on the other side. We're going to fry our chicken up. I already put the season on the chicken. I already put the chicken, uh, the chicken bouillon and stuff already on the chicken. I did that earlier. And I put the chicken in the box and let it marinate some. But I was just letting you know what I put on it. I mean, you got to use the same seasoning I, as I use. You know, we all got different taste buds. You know how that roll. So now what we're going to do. And we'll go here on the other side over here. We're going to get our chicken started. That's what we're going to do. So stay tuned. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our onions in here. Cook them down a little bit. We already uh, cooked our, uh, our, our, little, our uh, little shells, our little stuffed shells that we're going to use. We already cooked that earlier. 
I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know how to do that. Same way you do with noodles. Put the water in the pot, put some salt in it, and put a little oil in it. Let it get boiled. About 12, 13, 14 minutes at the most. Then you take them out, drain them, until you get ready to use them. So we, just, so we already know did that. So now we finna do this here. All right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set our oven to 350. Then we're gonna go ahead and start putting our chicken in. I mean, you ain't got to do when you, if you having to do this with what you see me doing this recipe here, you, know, you ain't got to do chicken. You can do sausage, you can do shrimp, you can do any type of meat you want. Turkey meat, any type of meat you want. It don't necessarily have to be chicken. Lobster tail. Whatever you choose. Now we're going to cook this real good here. Yeah? We ain't going to cook it because it's going to cook in the oven more. But we're going to get it kind of cooked on the stove as well. We're going to let this now cook on up here. Seen it done. We just let it cook a little bit. We don't turn it. And when you turn it, when you turn it, you'll see the the, the uh, as you turn it, you'll see what part that the pink part that hadn't. Uh, as you turn, you see the pink part that hadn't uh, touched the the, uh, the bottom part of the pan. So you might have to just flip that on over. Cause I'm flipping it like this now. And then what pink that I see on the chicken, I go ahead and turn that individually. We're going to let it cook another about another three minutes. Then we're going to, when we take it out the pan, we're going to drain it. We're going to take it out. We, gonna, we, ain't we ain't taking the juice with us. We don't want the juice. We don't want that. Not in this dish. Maybe in another dish we was cooking, we probably, we probably want the juice, but not this time. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take this off. And we're gonna, we got a spatula here with holes in it. And we just gonna dip the chicken out. Nothing but the chicken only. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna go ahead and mix up our other ingredients on the other side. And we're gonna go ahead and get this off. All right, we got us one egg right here. 
We got our ricotta cheese right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Put all this right here, and this is a, I think this is a 15 ounce uh, thing of cottage, uh, not cottage cheese, but ricotta cheese. 15 ounce. We're gonna go ahead and put our egg in. And we got one clove of garlic that we're gonna also put in there. And we also we're gonna go stir we're gonna stir this up just a little bit here. Let it bind together. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Let this one bind together. We're also going to put our cheese, our shredded cheese in. We're also going to put some green onions in here. You don't have to use what I'm using. You don't have to use green onions. All right, I stole no came up the tip. Put some more of the money's in there. Go ahead and put all of them in there. Put all of them in there. All right, now we're getting ready to stuff our shell. Stay tuned. That's what we got going on right here. That's what it looked like. All right, what we're going to do now, we got a little sauce there. What we're going to do, we're going to put some sauce at the bottom of our pan here. We're going to put some sauce at the bottom of the pan. We ain't going to just lay this, the shells on the naked, naked pan by itself. So, put some sauce on the pan like that there. And what we're going to do, we're going to set this into the side. Then we got our shells right here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna grab us one here like this right here. These are the shell pasta shells here. Grab us one like this right here. And we're gonna stuff it. We're gonna stuff it just like that though. Gonna set it down in the pan just like that there. We're gonna grab us another another one, open it up. Just like this right here. Put our stuffing in it. Be a little messy now. Gonna be a little messy. That's how we got it stuffed like this right here. We set it down in here. Just like that down. We're gonna do each one of them like this. Huh? We ain't gonna bore you doing this right here. We're gonna do a couple of more. Then we're gonna bring you back when we get them all stuffed. That's what we're gonna do. Do this a couple more. Like I said, it's going to be a little messy. We're going to get your hands 
Don't get your hands dirty now. As long as they clean. As long as your hands clean, it's all right. If they ain't clean, get your butt out the doggone kitchen. You ain't got no business in there in the first place. If your hands ain't clean, get out the kitchen. What that little uh, commercial says, say, say, so you, say, please back up. You're too close to the kitchen. Now what we're going to do. Yeah, like I said, it is a little messy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stuff the rest of these right here. And we're going to bring y'all back. All right, we finished doing our shells now. Bring you a little closer to them. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some sauce on top of them. We had four chicken thighs, okay? We had four chicken thighs. We took the meat off of them. And we have some, uh, we have just a little bit more left. I could have got about, I think I could have did about, Close to about, I say about eight more, eight or two. I'll be pushing if I say ten. So I'm just letting you know how many, and I got in this pan here two, four, five, six, seventeen stuffed shells in this pan here. So just getting you somewhat of an idea. If you was to cook, do this using chicken, how much, uh, how far, uh, four chicken thighs are taking. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this sauce on top like this right here, like you see me doing. We're going to put our Maserati cheese on top and some Parmesan cheese on top as well. And this one jar right here, a Prego sauce right here that I'm using, is just one little small jar. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to sprinkle our cheese on top. And we're going to put it in the oven, oven for about 20 minutes. No longer than 25 minutes. We're going to just go ahead and sprinkle this cheese on top like this you see me doing here. And you don't have to use the same cheese you see me using. You can use whatever cheese you prefer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sprinkle some of this on top. You don't have to use this neither if you don't want. If I had some pepperonis, I'll put some pepperonis on top of it to tell you the truth. I'm going to look like i got a pizza going on right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick this in the oven, ladies and gentlemen, for about 20 minutes or 25 at the longest. Stay tuned for the final results. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our stuffed shells just come out the oven. And this is what we got going on right here today, y'all. This, uh, this is what we got going on today here. See, they kind of get in here and scoop the one up uh, out of here. Scoop the one up out of here like this right here. So this is what we got going on, y'all. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sit, sit them on the plate like this. Son. We're going to, what we're going to do here today. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Uh, that one ain't hardly got no cheese on it. I don't know what happened to that one. Might be right there in the dugout somewhere. They ain't hardly got no cheese on it. Yeah, this is what we got here going on, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we, we should have got us some garlic toast. 
go with this here. That'll go good with this right here. Some garlic toast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we got. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, put a thumbs up. Ring the bell for you to be notified. We got going on some stuffed shells pasta shells all right everybody have a wonderful and blessed day you know what we say peace <laughs>